Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today we talk about the Dodger Ribbon, get 30 kills without taking any damage in a single mission. So a lot of guys are struggling with that one and you need it. To get one of the last skill points in the game from the Slade missions, he's gonna ask you to do that. As you can see, I did it over a hundred times. It is possible. I see people asking for help or any tips, Facebook, Reddit, Discord, it is possible but you just gotta put all the chances on your side. So today I share with you guys all my tips. So tip number one would be, you can go and grab some buffs in the bar or in the casino. It won't hurt. If you get extra damage and extra crit damage, it's just gonna help you kill the enemies faster. So maybe you're less likely to take damage. If you don't know yet how to grab buffs, all you gotta do is enter the bar, enter the casino and stay there for a few seconds. It's gonna give you a buff on the top left. Check the buff. If it's something you want, keep it. If it's something you don't want, you can drink and it's going to remove your buff. All right, so tip number one, get some buffs. It might help you. Tip number two would be use the right skills. And what I suggest is you should go with sentry gun and AM bomb. So if you see a pack of enemies, you're going to throw AM bomb. And if you move to a new room, you can drop the sentry on the ground. It's going to grab aggro from the enemies. So instead of rushing you, they're going to rush the sentry gun. And it's gonna take the pressure off you you can move back and shoot from a distance now tip number three is take your time you don't have to rush you can wait once your sentry gun is gone you can wait for it to recharge and ready to be used again and then you can move forward to a new area you don't have to rush you can wait all the time you want. now tip number four try to get a mission on the first planet they are easier the enemies are weaker, you're less likely to find elites or decimator enemies, so less likely to take damage. So we're gonna jump into the action, I got an infestation mission on the first planet. The one thing you don't control though is some missions don't have 30 enemies, so you're gonna finish the mission without taking damage, but you don't see the ribbon. Well, finish it and take another mission, maybe the next one will have more than 30 enemies. So let's go. And of course, will if you're new to the game, it's gonna be harder because you don't know all the patterns from the enemies, like when they're gonna shoot, how they move, uh, which one are more aggressive. But the more you play, you start knowing the patterns. So I saw uh, there was a grunt there with like these guys, they, they can shoot. So of course, if you can sneak, uh, you're gonna be able to kill before they shoot you. And you get more damage in the back, right? And this guy's gonna shoot, so gonna try to like stay away, right? But again, they're gonna shoot exactly where you are. So if you move from left to right, they're never gonna hit you. But if you move left, right, left, right like that, there's a chance they're gonna shoot where you were and you're gonna move into the projectile. But if you move slowly from left and then all the way to the right, you're not really gonna get hurt. I mean, there's not a lot of chances you're gonna get hurt. So these guys, they can shoot, but if you're moving left, right, not really gonna get hurt. I, I'm not saying you're never gonna get hurt, but it's easier if you move, of course. If you just stay there and shoot, probably gonna get hit, right? So move slowly, like don't rush, okay? See, take a step, see an enemy, move back. Try to have a spot to get cover, right? Take cover. And then um, look for the markers. I knew there was a few enemies there because I saw the, the orange marker. But see, I take cover. I can shoot and then take cover again. Don't like don't expose yourself. And when you shoot, usually they get knocked back a little bit and they're not shooting at the same time. So these blue guys also, they're gonna they're gonna shoot. So that's a lot of projectiles. So I could go AM bomb here. I mean, it's only two enemies, but I'm not taking damage and they're dead, right? So I still see an orange marker, you see? So that means there's still one. So I'm gonna go and try to clear and I'm gonna peek. And this is a, this guy's gonna rush you. So it's a bit dangerous, all right? So still gonna take my time. I see another marker. This guy's gonna rush me. All right, and this guy's dangerous. And I think I, 
<laughs> I thought I was gonna be done, but there's one more. So I like to move back and try to like fight from a distance. So they're still coming, right? I could have dropped my sentry gun at the door also. Oh, hell yeah. So apparently, uh, there's a lot of enemies here, and if I don't shoot these uh, breeders super fast, maybe more enemies spawn. I don't know. I didn't confirm. I didn't test. But we're gonna clear one breeder at a time, see if they spawn enemies. And if nothing happens, I will keep moving. And I probably got way more than 10 kills already. I mean, I didn't count, but... I mean, yeah, there is a chance we won't get 30 enemies in this mission. But still, first planet... Like, the enemies are easy. Alright, so I did kill all the breeders. And now we're gonna have another wave. And you see they're shooting at me, right? So you don't want to stay here. Because it's gonna be dangerous. I can drop my sentry. And see what happens. See? Like, he's gonna, he's gonna do the job for me. And also, one more thing, guys. These sentry, uh, sentry guns, when they expire, they're gonna explode. And they can deal damage to you. Now, I don't know if it counts. I know the breeders, mis like, the breeders fire. If I get close and I get hurt, I'm pretty sure it doesn't count. It's not gonna avoid your ribbon. So, I'm gonna keep moving slowly now. And, oh yeah, what I said is... I don't have to move. If I want, I could just wait a few seconds. See my AM bomb? Like the cooldown is more than halfway there. It's almost ready. So if I really want to take it really safe, I can just stay here for a few seconds and wait for my AM bomb to be ready. I can even wait for my sentry gun. Anytime I move to a new area, I can wait for my skills to cool down because there's no timer on these missions. You can take 10 minutes if you want. So if you're just trying to get one ribbon and you really, really need it to get your last skill point, take your time, guys. There's no rush. But I think I'm going to move because I'm, uh, like, I live, I like to live dangerously. But again, not too dangerous. Uh, I open the door and I move back because I see these, these torn enemies, they, they will shoot, right? So, and there's a bunch of guys. So I'm going to drop sentry gun gonna move away because I don't want to get hurt by a random projectile see these blue dude he's still shooting right so you can get hurt and now my am bomb is ready so I could I could throw my am bomb there sentry gun will do the trick surely and uh, keep an eye on the health see the green bar oof so keep an eye on your health. I'm still at 166. Uh oh, still at 166. Try to think of a plan B. If there's too much stuff, you need a place to escape. So I'm gonna go A and bomb and start shooting the breeders now. I guess. Like, like, take your time. It's the plan A. Don't put yourself in a bad spot. I always have a like cover and a place to escape. See, if something happens, I can escape. So I guess we're good to move now. I don't see anything. I'm gonna shoot that. And I got a room to move back. And proceed to the last nest. So my sentry gun is ready already. And there's a few guys there. Gonna have to be careful. This is not a great spot. And again, like I said, move left, right, all the way. There's a very big chance you're gonna escape the project. All right, take it slow. Nothing here. Hopefully, you get 30 enemies, because it's gonna be very sad if we finish this mission without 30 kills. I'm gonna cry a little bit. We got breeders and lots of stuff about to spawn. So I drop my sentry, I move away, and I look for stuff to shoot. And there's a dodger ribbon. See? That's it. It popped. So now I could finish my mission or I could just exit. But I know you can farm these ribbons. Like you can escape and you still have the ribbon or exit to the hub. 
But for the slave mission, I think you should finish. I don't know if it's gonna count if you don't finish. But now I don't care if I take damage. Uh, I already got my ribbon. However, there's another ribbon. If you finish the whole mission without taking damage, you get combat veteran. And some guys are farming these ribbons like crazy. They got thousands of combat veteran ribbons. I think we're done, guys. No? Yeah, we're done. And it's definitely combat veteran. Unit to SG, coming low and fast for hostile extraction. Be ready, sir. Service ribbon and combat veteran. And see, I took eight minutes to do one blue mission. Usually, you rush these in one minute and a half, two minutes. And that is it. One hundred and twenty-five Dodger ribbons, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoyed the tips. Good luck getting that ribbon if you're still looking for one. If this helped, make sure you hit the like. Leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.